everyone, it's me, the Otoku Fango, here to review the second episode of Steins Gate Zero. And that was emotionally painful. Wow, okay. So with this episode, we learn more about the Amadeus thing. And basically what they do is they take memories from people and put it into data. And therefore we have this virtual AI people. Because the girl with the green hair demonstrated it with like taking herself from like so and so many hours ago and so and so minutes. And that, it, yeah, that was interesting. Sure, great. All right, but here's the painful part. Curry Sue is the one that kind of, like, she's the main AI, kind of? Like, it's weirdly explained, but I'm just like, eh, that's painful. Oh, and when Okave saw her, I was just like, and my heart just dropped like 10 feet. I'm just like, I'm dying right now. Oh my goodness, why would you do this to me? But anyway, um, so yeah, this AI Curry Sue acts exactly like the Curry Sue we know. Oddly enough, yet she is a little different, but uh, for the most part, she's the same, and that's really painful to see and hear. And by the way, speaking of hearing, I don't really like Kurisu's Japanese voice because I watched season one, or you know, Steins Gate in the dub, so it's like weird to me. Like, Okabe's fine because it's Mamiro Miano, but I still prefer Jaimako Tatum, but still, it's fine. But it creases Jeremy's voice. It's gonna take a while to get used to that. But anyway, yeah, oh man. It was, and it was even super more painful when she like appeared on his phone and like she was acting more of that Sundere side of her, the Sun side. And I'm like, ah, oh, no, best girl now. Oh man. I Okabe needs to go back and save her because this is driving me nuts that like she's just an AI in this world. But let me say though, our side characters though for this one, I really like that guy who speaks like English uh, with the blonde hair. His English is hilarious. Like when he came to Okabe in the room where AI Kurisu, like where he was introduced and everything, that English part, that was hilarious. I was laughing so hard. I was like, <laughs> oh, that English though. And this girl, this new girl with the green hair, she's short and all, she looks like a loyally. Um, I don't know if I like her because the thing is, is that AI Kurisu seems to know that this little girl likes Okabe possibly and she might fall in love with Okabe and I'm like, no, unacceptable, Okabe belongs to Kurisu or Kurisnina, which was great to hear again. Okabe got a little bit of his old self back when he was talking to Kurisu, the AI version of her and I was like, ah! Christina, no, my heart, this is hurting me a lot. Why are you like this? Oh my gosh. But anyway, I really enjoyed this episode. And the opening and ending songs, eh, they're all right. The ending's a little better in my perspective, like song-wise and visual-wise. But, eh, you know, and the ending song makes me think that uh, bad things are going to happen to that certain character. I'm like, oh boy, we have to go through suffering with that again. But um, who knows really what's going to happen. But man, this is a good episode, really emotionally painful episode it, it can't get any worse right <laughs> oh gosh but anyway oh man just i don't know if i can get any worse but it's also i do want to mention there's a point where um uh okabe and uh mayuri yeah i'm pretty sure it's been a while but um they go to like uh akihabara and like instead of sega there's like mega <laughs> like the the arcade and i'm like Haha, that's funny because i've actually been to the sega arcade in japan it's really nice or at least i've been to one of them there's apparently two of them in akihabara but anyway um but overall, man, this was really painful, and, uh, AI Kurisu, oh, that's painful even more, but, um, we'll have to see how this goes from here, but, uh, what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? Was this painful for you? Because I know it was painful for me, for sure. Ha! It's like, why would you do this? Like, it, I still, this season two, even though people say it's not a season two, it's a season two. It's been seven years since the first one. I think it's been a while. I don't even know how long. I could be wrong. But, um, it's been a while. This is a season two, people. Uh, even if you don't want to think it is, I still think it's a season two. Because it's kind of a continuation of the story, kind of. So, eh. But anyway, I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!